What is going on guys? It's Cyberhorn92 here. Welcome to the channel. You're new. If I turn on that post and can drop a bit if I like. You don't want to miss out because I make variety content. I'll put it on the screen right now. These are my usually schedule. But yeah, so today's video I'll be uh, showing you guys how to properly how to like fold or properly on either small ground or play mats. And yeah, no chit chat. Let's get started, you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys play mats, small grounds, small grounds like the less expensive, and then small grounds the most expensive. All right, so it can be literally any play mat. So we're just gonna go first the regular play mats. If you have like a expensive play mat, I highly recommend people should roll up their play mats. Like it's super easy um just like roll it up just like this you know just like a sushi <laughs> but yeah you just roll it up all the way and then after that you just put in your backpack or you got those wonderful tube thing you can like just put it i'll put it on the screen what it looked like I, i'm pretty sure it's not that expensive probably like 10 or 20 bucks but yeah you can fold it like that um if you have like a regular play mat you don't really care you can like just like put it up face down like this and then you can just like Make it like a sandwich like that and then yeah, that's how I usually do that mine I wouldn't recommend people who does this if they have expensive play mats at least about a hundred plus dollars But it is your choice end of the day, but yeah So that's number one uh, number two spell ground. Uh, this is the steel one not, 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 not the 1994 but yeah, so you can people either can like decide like to play either like Fully or like this, it doesn't really matter. End of the day, the, the properly you wait, um, how you fold it is that you just make it straight. So it can be like halfway or fully. So I usually like to put like halfway of the play mat, and then from there I can like just like flip it like this, and then after that put it like that. It's kind of hard to explain. You flip it and then you just turn it. And then after that, you just fold it. And then you just fold it like this. And like this. That's how you probably put a small ground like that. Sorry about the lighting, you guys, because I don't have good lights. But anyways, um, that's how you do it. And usually, you want to put it in a Ziploc or like any of those small ground play mats. And then if you want, it's optional. I will put it just in case, like, end of the day, you want to make it clean as much as possible. And you don't want those ink. And yeah, so that's number two. Number three, this is the most expensive one, the 1994. You already know, you don't know, that's on the rock. But anyways, this is how you properly fold it. So if you have any small ground, like super expensive, like thousand of dollars, you can like roll it up like a like a ball. I chose not to, cause like, I, I don't know, like I'm still new to the whole small ground, the new um 1994 most expensive one, cause this is my first one owning it. But you could fold it like a ball if you want, but I would be careful, cause like, if you fold the way I showed you got the small ground, you can give, like, um, some damage or like, curse or something like that. I, I don't know, it's like, there's like lines, you guys know, so I probably, like, if you guys usually fold a small ground like this way, the way you set up when you play, uh, you usually do like this, um, you just like, open it up, and then after that, just turn it like this, chat. All right. So like this. So the graveyard is facing this way. This way right there. So it was right here before. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, you either play like fully like those pro players or halfway, doesn't matter. So you just want to make it straight, flat and everything. And then after that, uh, it's the same thing like the the second one, but only difference that's a little bit different. Yeah, so you fold it like this, and I believe the graveyard would go on top. I believe so. You want to make it like half as much as you can. Make it straight, you know. Try and make it as perfect. And then after that, you just make straight. Then there you go. You got your graveyard. I will put this very secure if you're playing on very expensive play mat well i meant small ground play mat but same thing yeah i think that's about it uh thanks for the person who comment if you guys want more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh content or any content let me know in the comments below and consider subscribing if you can value this video and your boy cyberhorn92 is signing out peace